Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We're here for another What's For Dinner. We hope that you checked out our first What's For Dinner. That was our first dinner with this handy dandy Instant Pot. Um, I got this for Christmas. Our first What's For Dinner was a delicious meatloaf and mashed potatoes. We did the whole entire meal in the pot. Well, except for the veggie, we had broccoli. But we did it two pounds of ground turkey. I did my regular um, meatloaf recipe in the pot. It was 20 minutes and it was so good. So we said, let's try another one. So we're doing a series. And by the way, the, um, the first one, the meatloaf and mashed potatoes, we'll put it right here. Go check it out, show us some love. And also, if you are new, if you're just joining only the Andersons, thanks for coming by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with us. If you have been hanging with us for a while, thanks for coming back. And let's just get on into it. Also, we have been trying something new. We want to just touch on that. Um, Chris and I and Christian, my videographer, we tried some reaction videos. We did two Chris Stapleton and a Righteous Brothers video right here. Check it out. We got some good love on it. We got some good feedback on it. So go check those out. But that's not why we're here. We're here to give you some good recipes. So tonight we are doing a cream cheese chicken and spinach recipe. Normally I make this in the oven or on top of the stove and then I stick it in the oven. So I said, hey, let's try it out in the Instant Pot. So we start out with sauteing the um, chicken. Six. The recipe calls for six to eight chicken thighs. So I have eight chicken thighs and I've already seasoned them up and I'll put the recipe down below for you. I have three tablespoons of butter. So I am going to put in, and if you see me looking to the side, I have my recipe right here and I have it on my laptop right there. I'm going to put in two tablespoons of butter in the pot and then I'm going to hit on the instant pot saute so you can hear the butter sauteing and we have eight chicken thighs already seasoned up and we'll put the recipe down below so we are about to brown up the chicken thighs on both sides. So we're gonna brown the chicken in batches. So far, I have five pieces in. Okay, so we have finished browning all of the chicken. Also, all the bits and pieces on the bottom of the pot, you have to deglaze the bottom of the pan or I read that you will get the burn notice. So I just poured in just about a cup of water. And so all of this is going to come up. Okay, so now it's time to cook the chicken. So I'm gonna put the basket in. And the recipe calls for a cup and a half of chicken broth. So let's pour that in. And let's get the chicken back. 
Doesn't that chicken look pretty? But it's not done yet. So let's get it on in. This smells really good, guys. Let's get these juices in there. We may as well. Get that in there. Now we're going to put the lid on. I think there we go. There we go. And we're going to set the pressure to high. It's already on high for 10 minutes. So we got to go down. 10 minutes. Remember, we have to put it to ceiling. And that's it. And just like last time, crossing these fingers. And we shall see. But I think it's going to be perfectly fine. And then all we have to do is just fix the sauce. So we have the broccoli, another little pat of butter, the Parmesan cheese, garlic, and the cream cheese. And we'll be good to go. So while we're waiting for the, well, the, the pie has to come to pressure. And then it'll cook for 10 minutes. So I'm going to get the my brain y'all. I'm going to get the rice on and we'll have everything. We'll have the chicken, the spinach, and the rice. Everything will be done. Dinner will be done. So we'll be back in like 15 minutes. Well, the pressure is released and it is now time to take the chicken out. And it's going to sing us a song. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I don't want it to fall apart. Mmm. <laughs> it smells really, really good. Oh, that's my rice. <laughs> so there you have it. The chicken is done. Okay, guys, off camera, I took the chicken and put it under the broiler for about five minutes just to firm up the skin a little bit. I don't normally do that, but I thought I would try something different. And I think I like it. It firmed it up just a little bit. So with the juices in the pot the recipe the instant pot recipe says to put the pot back on hit saute which i did so it is warming up and you're going to take these juices and start boiling so that we can get this spinach done well we're going to make a, a spinach sauce a spinach cream sauce with this cream cheese. 
I'm combining an instant pot recipe with a regular oven recipe that I use because the oven recipe that I use calls for heavy cream. So I'm replacing the heavy cream with this cream cheese. So let's get the chicken to the side. Let's get ready to add this cream cheese once it starts to boil. In a watch pot. Okay folks, so now it's time to make the sauce. So we are going to whisk in the cream cheese. We gotta whisk it in until it's smooth. So let's get it on in there. And make sure your cream cheese is room temperature. Add it in in cubes. If you have an immersion blender, that'll work, but you don't need that for this. That's done. Also, I like thyme. I just like the flavor of thyme in my sauces. So that is a teaspoon of thyme. If you have ground thyme, that's better, but I ran out of ground thyme, so I don't mind those <laughs> pieces, the hunks of thyme. And I have three cloves. Well, this is minced garlic. So it's equal to three cloves of garlic. Get that on in there. I have a cup of Parmesan cheese. Slowly add that. Melt that on up. The thyme is smelling so good. Mommy, where's that green I don't know. I normally add more parm. If you want to make your sauce thicker, you can add some cornstarch. I don't. You can let this cook down for the sake of time. And that's just letting it reduce on its own. I'm not gonna do a lot of reducing this evening because I want to go ahead and get the kids and Chris fed. Hey girl, hey. Mmm. If y'all could smell this. No, mommy gave you a marker. Let me smell this. I mean, let me taste this. It's too hot. I'm gonna let you taste it on your plate. Mm. Mm. Your mouth is not going to be ready for the sauce. The time. Mm. 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 Okay, now it's time to wilt this spinach. And the recipe calls for two cups of spinach. Can't nobody do nothing with two cups of spinach. I have the whole bag. And I have, this has already been washed. I have another bag and the colander over there ready. They're leaves, yes ma'am. In case I feel like I want some more spinach because I can just eat the spinach by itself. Just wilt it on down. Yes, ma'am, Pam. 
Are you getting all this goodness, son? Delicious. Get that on in there. Throw it in. Let's see. Do I want some more spinach? Okay, I think I want some more spinach. Leaves or spinach? And now for the star. It's time to plate it up. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. There's no need to put the chicken back into the pot. I can, I can taste this. Mm. 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 Dishwasher will take care of that. Mm. Let's get some of this good spinach. Y'all know I'm just making this look fancy for the, for my thumbnail. Because I'm going to put all kinds of spinach on the side after it's time to eat. And there you have it. All right, guys, so I have plated it up. This is actually Hubby's plate, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste. I know what it tastes like. Well, I'm hoping it tastes the same in the Instant Pot that it does when I cook it in the oven. Actually, I'm hoping it tastes better. This is the rice and the salsa. Mm. Do not omit the time. Hey, babe, is it okay if I taste your plate? Mm -hmm. Yes, babe. I want you to see the chicken. See how tender it is? See that? Moist. Mm. Yes, mom is going to fix your plate. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope you try the recipe. If you do, make sure that you comment down below. Let me know how it went. So guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, hit that notification, notification bell. bell. What they say.